What's good guys? Cool 200 here, almost with a broken box, ready for the last diecast review of this sort of series thing that I've been doing, you know, from like the older cars to the newer cars, and well guys, this is kind of the end of that series now, just be kind of uh, sporadic, diecast videos won't be consistent anymore, um, you should be seeing this very soon though, um, I believe this is from 20... 2013 to 2014, uh, 124s, these kind of is the rest, so here's a quick look at them. This should be the thumbnail. Very nice. Very good looking die cast. And uh, before I break the box, let's just get right into this. I think we're going to start with the 2014, or is it 2013? This might be a 2013 to 2015 die cast. I'm sorry, guys. Yes. Yes, it is. Okay. My apologies, I already got it wrong and I barely made a dent into this video, but this should be a good one. So we're going to start with the Dale Earnhardt Jr. Mountain Dew slash Xbox One diecast. Um, this car I ran at Talladega. Uh, this is when the Xbox One, I believe, was the f announcement for this console. Um... I don't know anything about Xbox. I don't even play Xbox. Obviously, I, I play the PlayStation. Um, don't give me hate for that. I love the PlayStation. Um, technically, they're not my PlayStation, so it's all good. But anyways, I do remember this diecast running at Talladega, and I wanted it ever since. I know the 164 scale is very hard to find, but I did find the 124, obviously, and it's a good one. So as you can see... You got Mountain Dew written up here, Xbox One, every two minutes. Dot com. Um, you got this kind of a, I don't know what you would call that. Kind of looks like the outline of Mountain Dew for some reason. Uh, you got like this lime green. You got the dark green here. Earnhardt Jr. Back when they put the name on the window banner in the front. Uh, on this side, you have big Mountain Dew written on the side here. You got Mountain Dew. Time Warner Cable back when JL Jr. sponsored us and back when they were in NASCAR. National Guard back when they were in NASCAR. Uh, again, you got like that dark font from Mountain Dew up there. Also kind of happens right there. You can kind of see the M is kind of upside down, I think. Or maybe that maybe that's the W. Yeah, that's the W, excuse me. Kind of upside down there. Uh, you got Mountain Dew on the, uh, the roof. You got National Guard on the deck lid. Yeah, Xbox One every two minutes dot com. Uh, the deck lid does open all the way actually. Um, the roof flaps deploy at a 90 degree angle. And there is the other side. And the hood, or what's under the hood, it says, you guys can't see it, Mountain Dew. What else does it say in there? I don't have my flashlight right now. No, that didn't help. It says, oh, it just says National Guard, and then the Chevy emblem. Does that help at all, guys? Not really. There we go. There. It says National Guard. And the engine. Uh, hold on, guys. Let me get the flashlight on here. Uh, we need a little bit of a, a light here. Alrighty guys, I have my flashlight, and I'm going to get it up here, hopefully it works, oh there went the freaking screwdriver, there we go, does that help guys, I know you guys have been saying that I need, oh, Jesus, Judas, I need more lighting, so, there we go, that works. Alrighty guys, well that is Dale Jr.'s uh, Mountain Dew slash Xbox One diecast. I did not show the box, so let me go ahead and do that. Here it is. Here is the box. You got the car, Dale Earnhardt Jr., Hendrick Motorsports, Dale Jr. on the front. Still the Choice of Champions, Action Race Collectibles. Uh, on the front here you have Lionel, the official diecast of NASCAR, Dale Earnhardt Jr., Hendrick Motorsports, 88, and... I think that's the Hendrick Moore Sports uh, building. And then over here you have 2013. And on the little sticker here it says Dale Earnhardt Jr. Number 88 Mountain Dew Xbox One 2013 SS. 
one of 1,620. And of course, your DIN code, or your your PIN code, or it's not the DIN code, it's actually the PIN code or whatever. And the other side says Dale Earnhardt Jr., 88. Henrik Moore Sports and Junior Nation, www.dalejr.com. And you just have the car and Dale Jr. signature on this little sticker thing. So, there is your box, and there was your die cast. So, we're going to go ahead and move on here. Uh, we're going to keep the roll here with Dale Earnhardt Jr. and go with my favorite paint scheme from his 2015 season. This. You guys have seen this probably three times now. Is the Amp Energy Passion Fruit car. I absolutely love this car. Honestly, it is, to me, an underrated paint scheme. It is just so fabulous looking. So let's just go ahead and get right into this. Under here you have... The, um, the yellow splitter, you got the pink um, for the fruit, you got Amp Energy Passion Fruit here on the hood. Under here though, you have uh, Na Nationwide Mount Diet Mountain Dew, Kelly Blue Book, and the Chevy Emblem. I believe this was the last race that Dale Earnhardt ever got sponsored by uh, Amp, by the way. You got the fruit here. For the amp drink, you got some more purple swirls and everything. It just looks so... I love purple with black cars. And I, I love the uh, transition here. Got Kelly Blue Book, Amp Energy, Nationwide. Just a very good looking car right here. You got all the swirls and the white kind of blending in there. It's just very nice looking. And then back here, you got Amp Energy. And I guess you could buy it at 7-Eleven. Is Amp Energy even a thing anymore? Like, I don't see Amp Energy anywhere anymore. Let me know in the comments below. Is Amp Energy a thing anymore? And then you got... Oh, I don't want to break the thing, but it says Nationwide is on your side on the deck lid and Amp Energy on the top along with an opening deck lid, which is nice. And on the roof, you can see the swirls kind of coming in there you got the beautiful pink uh outline 88 with a nice little like i don't a uh, carbon fiberish looking design right there is what i like to say and of course your roof flaps open i did not show that the roof flaps open at a 90 degree angle there is the other side and it says at amp energy right here which is so cool this die cast is so cool. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite Dale Earnhardt Jr. paint scheme was. Um, this was definitely one of my top five. He did have some better Dale Earnhardt Jr. or some better paint schemes. Um, some people don't like this paint scheme because of so much black, but I, I, I don't know, guys. I, there's something about it. But the Xbox One was definitely one of my favorites as well. So there we go. That was the Passion Fruit car. Now we'll go into 2014, I think, with two cars. Yes. We will start with the last ever win for Jamie Mack and probably the last win in his career. This is the 2014 All-Star Race win. Now, let me know in the comments below. Did he win at Talladega first or the All-Star Race first? I think think it was the all-star race or last i mean which one or yeah which one was first i think it was the talladega win that he got first and then the all-star but don't quote on me on that because i don't really remember anyways here is his bass pro shop car one of the last bass pro bass pro shop paint schemes for jamie mcmurray he did run one in 2018 at the all-star race in fact so that was kind of cool to see them go on Jamie McMurray for his last time, so that's cool. But anyways, you got Bass Pro Shop here. You got a lot of stars, uh, a lot of star confetti. You got some blue in there for the uh, obviously All Star Race. Uh, you got some white and red kind of strimming down here. You got the uh, kind of Bass Pro Shop look with the red right here. I don't know what you want to call that. Kind of looks like orange red, but whatever. On the hood, it just says Bass Pro Shop with the Chevy emblem and the engine. And then over here, you got NWTF, 
National Wild Turkey Federation, McDonald's, Simons, um, number one, that was the first year they used the spot full time. Got like a fish, I believe, or a bird. It's a fish, right? I mean, you have wood right here, so that's why it's a bird. That's not a fish. No fish looks like that. I'm stupid. That's a bird. You got um, some orange and some white coming down here. You got some uh, wildlife happening right here. You got black here. You got two stars there. You got Life Master. And then on the hook or the roof here, you got orange background with the black number one. Tons and tons of star confetti here. You got some like feet, bird feet, bird track right there. You got BassProShop.com right there and then on the back look at all that confetti right there i'm actually gonna come up close here with all this confetti look at all that look at all of that confetti that is ridiculous and then you got our i can't even read that arctic cat what 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 is it arctic cat mercury i could not see that that was an m honestly guys Got so much uh, con uh, confetti right there, and then so much landed back here. None stayed on the spoiler, but I doubt that's true. I'm sure that line messed that up. And then you got Bass Pro Shop here, Bass Pro Shop there, NWFT, and of course, an opening deck lid that was kind of hard to open and close. Holy cow! Uh oh, there we go. I don't want to break the dang thing. Holy cow! And of course, you have one. And two opening root flaps that are 90 degrees. And there's the other side along with the tires that look worn down. Uh, you have support our troops on the tires. I do that every year at the All-Star Race. So that's pretty cool. And we'll look at the tires over here. Uh, pretty much the same thing except the Goodyear is kind of worn off of this one. You can see the Goodyear kind of scraped off. Same as that one, so we obviously did some burnouts. Yeah, pretty cool. Also, you got some star confetti on the splitter here. I didn't mention that. And some tape on the grill. Got some tape on that grill. Got to get some tape. So, very nice looking car. And uh, Jamie McMurray, good luck with the rest of your career. You will only run the Daytona 500, which is sad. And uh, Kurt Busch is now officially with Chip Ganassi Racing as of last week. So that was pretty cool, and uh, I've been a McMurray fan for uh, eight years. It's still 2018, so eight years, and uh, he hasn't done much in his career. Uh, obviously, did win a lot of the big, um, big tracks, the big, the big ones, I should say. He won the Daytona 500, I think, once or twice. I think once. Uh, he won the All-Star Race, obviously. He won the Brickyard 400. Um, I think he won the Coke 600. I think that was one of his first wins. So he's done some stuff in his career, but not too much to be a Hall of Famer. That is for sure. But anyways, we're going to talk about the new cat that drives the 88. But once had a garbage ride, and that is Alex Bowman. And the number 23 BK Racing Dr. Pepper Toyota Camry. Absolutely stunning Toyota Camry. I love the old front nose of this Toyota Camry. I don't know why, but this was my this is still my favorite front nose for a Toyota Camry. It's just so simple yet satisfying to me. That Dr. Pepper with the 23 like cap thing. You got this whole gray stripe that goes right along the car. It's kind of a plain paint scheme. But one of Alex Bowman's first, and this is the signature series Alex Bowman signing that himself with a nice little feel to it. And you have probably nothing on the hood. Nope, just says Toyota Let's Go Places. On this side, you got that Dr. Pepper outline for the 23. You got Burger King, always one of a kind, and Dr. Pepper. Uh, it's just right full on, and then you have that gray stripe going right across the top and on to the back. Um, on the top here says DrPepper.com, always one of kind on the deck lid. 
drpepper.com on the back with, of course, the Rookie Stripes. 2014 was his first year in the Cup Series. Deck lid opens quite nicely. You got the roof flaps that open. Very nice. And, of course, you have the other side. So you might be asking me right now, well, why did you get this car? I got this car because it was rare, and it's cool to get one of uh, Alex Bowman's older cars as they maybe were something a lot something a lot that didn't make any sense something near in the future but I'm not all about that I just collect the die casts and show them to you guys and then have fun with them and uh it's been a fun ride for this one so far so um yeah it's crazy that Alex Bowman went from the 23 to the 7 to the 88 pretty cool and I didn't even show the boxes for these cars. Uh, we're going to start with Junior's Passion Fruit box, since I'm stupid. You could win a gold ticket in this box. You got 2015. Dale Earnhardt Jr., the official diecast of NASCAR, Dale Jr. Space. Dale Earnhardt Jr. on the top with 88 and Hendrick Motorsports with the nice test car. Um, over here, it says 88 Dale Earnhardt Jr. You got, like, the safer barrier kind of showing here, Hendrick Motorsports. Official diecast of NASCAR. Right here you have Dale Earnhardt Jr. number 88. Amp Energy Passion Fruit 2015 SS. One of 1,717. 88 Dale Earnhardt Jr. And what actually came in this was, somehow, the gold uh, open to see if you got the gold ticket. It's not the gold ticket. I'm not going to take it out because this thing's so sticky. But it was actually just the... Uh, the congratulations on your purchase. It's all just a ruse, guys. It's all just a ruse. Uh, I didn't even take out the Casey Kane one. Uh, we will see that here next. But, yeah. It's all a ruse. Alright, then we'll look at the McMurray since he was just next. And here it is. You got a uh, NASCAR Spring Cup Series uh, gold, gold ticket. You got McMurray holding up the nice trophy race version. NASCAR Sprint All-Star Race winner. Jamie Matt Murray, and it says Concord, uh, North Carolina, May 17th, 2014. So this was a May race. Okay, got 2014. Jamie McMurray, number one, Bass Pro Shops, WNWTF All Star Win 2014, SS, one of only 409. That is pretty cool. I have uh, 140 is what it says on my den. The did number. There you go. So that's pretty cool. And then there's the race schedule. So wait. Daytona. So Talladega was there, but which Talladega did he win? Because then the All-Star race was there literally two weeks after. And then there was another All-Star race somewhere over here. Or not the All-Star race. Talladega race, which is right there. So I think... I think he won the fall all-star race, so maybe this isn't McMurray's last win, but also maybe the Talladega win was in 2014, or 20, 2013. I'm going to hit myself with one of these boxes someday. Anyways, here's the Alex Bowman uh, box. You got the golden ticket once again. You got BK Racing, Alex Bowman's car, his face, young Bowman right there. You got, oh my gosh, the Toyota Camry. Nose right there. Alex Bowman, face number 23. And over here you have the back of the car. 23, Alex Bowman, BK Racing. And over here you got 2014, Alex Bowman, 23, Dr. Pepper, 2014 Camry, autographed one of 288. That is pretty cool. Obviously a little rare. And I have 162 as well, it says on the den. So that's pretty cool. And the last car we're going to be looking at is Casey Kane's Aquafina car from 2015. And this car was another one of my favorites. It's probably one of my uh, favorite Case Kane paint schemes. And I had to get it in 124. You guys have seen this in 164 a few times now. But here it is once again with the bigger scale. You have Aquafina drink up there with a ton of water droplets. Uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, yellow splitter. 
You got the hood here that opens. You got farmers and oh geez, you have a lot of sponsors here. You got farmers insurance, Chevy emblem. You got great clips, uh, time order cable, and life master right there. That's pretty cool. You got the water waving across the car, and over here you got it pretty much splashing, almost. You got Aquafina time order cable, great clips. I think that's life mat. No, it's not. And then you have farmers insurance and Aquafina right here. Drink up farmers. Valvoline, uh, it's a good uh, paint scheme, especially for a water brand. You got lots of bubbles and and water all over here. You got nice little sparkles in the water and stuff. Pretty cool. Same as on the top, water droplets and everything. You got Aquafina right there. Great clips on the deck lid with some more water droplets. And on the back is just a full kind of a royal blue look and the Aquafina. They did change the logo, so it no longer looks like this, but... Back when Aquafina looked like that, that was pretty cool. And then you have the deck lid that opens. And of course, your roof flaps that always open. And your other side. So that is a very nice looking Casey Kane die cast. We're going to go ahead and set him aside. I know you can still see him just a little bit. Here's the car. Again, never took out the golden sticker. I know I already didn't win because... If I did, why would they give me this car? You got Casey Kane, uh, Lionel Racing, the official diecast of NASCAR. You got uh, Casey Kane right there, 124 scale stock car, limited edition adult collectibles. Over here, you got golden tickets, uh, per platinum series uh, 2015. On the top here, you got Casey Kane, number five. There's his face. Got some smoke back there with the test car. Hendrick Motorsports, obviously, back when he raced in Hendrick. Hendrick Motorsports, number five, Casey Kane signature. And you got, whoa, baby. Casey Kane, number five, Aquafina, 2015, SS, one of 493. And the back, you once again, you have the uh, Safe Barrier NASCAR, uh, Hendrick Motorsports, five, Casey Kane. And you got Casey Kane written. Or Casey written everywhere here. I think it's... Yeah, that's his game. Okay. So there's the box. And that's all I have for you today, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm not going to set the cars back up again. Because I already have the thumbnail. And I don't want to break this box. Because I needed to review more diecasts that are coming up uh, in the near future. Once I get more diecasts shipped to my house. I have two 124 so far. And I have... 246 164 scale die cast so far, but I am expecting more by Monday and by the next week. So, once you guys already see this, though, this will be like Wednesday. And by the way, I'm not posting a video every day anymore. I'm going to try and spread them out. I realize that every single day, uh, maybe you guys got a little bored. Uh, the viewership has been going down just a little bit, so I'm going to try and do it more sporadically. So, don't look, don't look forward to me uploading every weekday anymore. Um, comment down below if you're sad about that and you want me to continue. And maybe I'll change my mind. And hopefully I can get YouTube stories to work. Because that would be pretty dang cool if I could do that as well. Because that would be a way for me to interact with you guys without posting a full video like this one. Every single day and I can give you maybe a sneak peek of a new video that could be coming out uh, in the new future. So... We'll see what happens, guys. But until then, I love you all to death. Thank you all so much for watching and helping out my channel. Please like the video. Leave a comment. Subscribe for more. Let's get this channel rolling. Hopefully, I can hit 150 subscribers before the end of the year. So, guys, please make that happen. Go click the subscribe button and click the bell right beside it so you guys don't miss an upload. Because believe me, guys, you guys are not going to want to miss the next cars that come out. They're going to be pretty cool, and they will be a little rare. So stay tuned for that, and uh, I'm done rambling on. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Hope you all are having a fantastic day, and peace out.